We're on the road with Mickey, we're gonna have some fun. Regardless of the rain or sun, our trip has just begun. So buckle up, let's go, we're about to start the show. And maybe if you like us, you'll see where else we'll go. Hey everyone, I'm Mike. And she's Sophie. And she's Brenda. Hi everyone. And he's Grogu, waving like he always does. You know, Grogu is a rock star. Let's yes. face facts. Grogu is the reason we have our show. Yep. He's a happy little dude. <laughs> he anyway, agrees with you. Of course he does. How could he not, right? <laughs> anyway, we are on the road with Mickey. This is episode 135 for August 22nd, 2022. And our feature topic this week is things to do on checkout day. You're checking out of Disney rather than being, you know, sad and gloomy and upset because you're having to leave Disney. Let's do some last minute things that will keep you cheerful, positive, even though you're going home today. Okay. So let's look at some of the things we can do before we head out. But of course, before we get started, we've got some cheddar from the Big Cheese. Brenda is starting us off. Oh, well, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger are back for meet and greets at the Magic Kingdom. Woohoo! We used to see Pooh over there at Journey of the Imagination in Epcot, but you could only see him from a distance, and now they're meeting together at the Thoughtful Spot in Fantasyland. Well, that's all I've got for now. TTFN, ta ta for now. <laughs> oh, that's great! Your voice, TTFN, top top for now. Yeah, that I don't, I don't, I don't either. with that. No, <laughs> Sophie, Tigger try is, it. No, Tigger is oh. iconic. We cannot replicate his voice. It's impossible. Cannot. Yep. Well, on to my turn. My cheddar, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, is going to be re-released in the IMAX theaters starting on August twenty-sixth in preparation of the release of the Disney Plus series Andor. In addition to Rogue One, you can also get an extended preview of what the series will look like. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. You know what I read and I thought this was really it kind of blew my mind. Mm -hmm. But Rogue One, I think, was released in 2016. Like six years ago. Really? I know. Wow. I'm Dang. like, I'm like, how is it that long ago? Maybe I read it wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking something wrong. I but don't know. Time I flies feel fast, like it so was six years ago. Just wow. blows my mind. Anyway, it, it's not it's hard fast. to do. Let me just say that. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, Especially when you get to a certain point. Yep, when you get to be my age, woo boy, watch out. <laughs> now, Brenda announced this on her Facebook page. Brenda, what's your Facebook page? Uh, Brenda Plans. Brenda Plans, okay. On her Facebook page, she announced that the Disney Skyliner will be down for maintenance from January 22nd to the 29th in 2023. That's mm-hmm. going to impact all the resorts that have Skyliner service, of course, and bus transportation to all the parks will be available during the refurbishment. I just wanted you all to know that Brenda is on it and that she she reported that before I even knew. And I'm like, hey, I'm stealing that. That's cheddar. That became cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> well, and if you remember, uh, I think last year they were closed January 22nd, the 28th in 20. So in 2022. 2022, so I'm guessing that yearly around that time yeah. they're going to be refurbing, it, you know, just tweaking it probably. Just tweaking but it, making it sure does everything's affect the good, people in the resorts. checking the oil, you know, that's right, all that kind of good stuff. Yep. So, and it, and it does affect, but you know what? When when you're there, if you're there during that time, you'll you'll take the bus to wherever you need to to go, and and it'll be okay. It will yes. be okay. It will be awesome. <laughs> but anyway, just be prepared. So, yeah. okay. So that's our cheddar from the big cheese. 
And we actually have some more information on our favorite Disney smells from last oh, week. These cool. came in after we recorded, and I wanted to give some of the listener feedback that we received. Yes. Jennifer has these favorites that she likes. She likes the old Soren Jasmine smell, mm. the Pirates mm-hmm. of the Caribbean smoke smell, and she really? loves the smell of popcorn. Awesome. I can understand that. The Pirates of the Caribbean smoke smell, to me, smells like bananas. Really? Well, that's yeah. bananas. Huh. Yeah. Banana I, I've never even thought what of it as saying? bananas. Me neither. Now I'm going to be paying attention. Right? Yeah. We'll have to see if we smell <laughs> banana. You know what? Maybe Sophie was eating a banana one day. Oh, not on a ride. Disgusting. Not on a ride, Daddy. Oh. Sorry, no. not on a ride. No, no, no okay. it's just you can just smell it. It smells like pure potassium to me. Okay, that is interesting. I'm going to pay attention next time. Yeah. Now, Tanya said she likes the smell of dinosaur. <laughs> Which is Sophie's favorite smell. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's favorite ride. All because Ugh. of the smell, right? <laughs> and she likes the smell of popcorn and turkey legs i don't really notice the smell with turkey legs but i love the taste of a turkey leg let me tell you it's been a while since i had one stephanie has two favorites the fiji scene in soren and she loves that lobby in the yacht club that's like yeah. a becoming a predominant favorite is the yacht club yeah. lobby. Oh, it's, yeah. it's really nice yeah. sheila Likes these smells The original Soaring Over California Smells The Grand Floridian Gingerbread House No one mentioned the Gingerbread House Yeah I think we're just not thinking Christmas at this point And then the musty clean smell of Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland She is specific to the Disneyland one Yeah so. ah. And then I have two more Vicky has an affinity to the Wilderness Lodge She said, Wilderness Lodge, nothing like walking the hallway down to Roaring Forks. So many memories at that resort. I have some wax melts that come close. I am with you, Vicki. So many memories at that resort. Yeah. And then last but certainly not least, Chrissy from Billy's Closet of Magic had this to add. She loves the smells at Flight of Passage. Yeah. The Mm Soren Polynesian scene. And the Soren Ooh. India smell. Yep, those are all so, nice. Very yeah. nice. But you know what? We love listener feedback. We do. We, we do. do. Thank you so much, guys, for all the feedback you guys provide. It just makes the, the show that much more fun. It so, does. It makes it more personal, and we love personal. Yeah. So, so thank you for this topic and for those. And now we're going to move on to our feature topic, Things to do on checkout day. So uh, we're just coming up with a list. We're kind of just putting these things in the in our list and we're going to put them in the show notes and we're going to report them here. And these are just some things maybe to, maybe you haven't thought of, maybe you have, but just some things to think about, maybe something to try on your next trip. So so who wants to go first? Go for mm-hmm. it, Mike. We always go first. Yeah. Okay. Well, I always like to let the ladies go first. Well, we go like to let first. you go first. Okay, I'm going to go first. Well, you know, Brenda experienced this on not the last day of her trip, but the next to last day on the last trip, our June trip, when she was able to have a nice sit-down breakfast and meet one of her one of her clients, one of her friends that became a client. Mm-hmm. And so a nice sit down breakfast the morning you're leaving to me that's where it's at cuz you're you're just relaxing you're enjoying you're looking back at the great trip you had all the memories that you had you know and just what what better than that right yeah. and getting some yep. good food yeah <laughs> that's uh, right so good conversation good food Good conversation, good food, good people all around you. Yep. So mm-hmm. a nice sit down breakfast. That's that's on my list. Great. Great choice. Oh. What all about right. you, Sophie? All right. Well, 
usually I'll admit we're usually leaving in the mornings whenever it's our last day at Disney. But there have been a couple instances that I remember where we were leaving in the afternoon. And admittedly, in those instances, we always tried to squeeze in one last park day, but that ended up being just stressful, if you ask me. Just trying to go to the parks when you know you have to leave so soon after, that's stressful. I would much prefer to go resort hopping instead, especially if I'm at a resort that has the Skyliner t attached to it because that way it's just so easy to go back and forth and it means that I get to experience the Riviera and mm -hmm. Caribbean Beach and those two resorts are just splendid. I love going to resorts and enjoying the atmosphere that they bring because it's always so calming. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and you know what? You're absolutely right, Sophie. Resort hopping, there's two there's two areas that I think resort hopping really works. When you're on the Skyliner, and mm -hmm. you can go, even if you just if you're at Pop, you walk over to Art of Animation. That's it's that's resort hopping without really having to do anything. But the Skyliner resorts are great. Um, or if you're on the monorail loop, you yep. know. Those are two really great areas to go resort hopping, especially during the holidays because you there's oh, yeah. there's I mean the decorations are so beautiful. I mean that's that's a really fun thing to do during the holidays. Yeah, yeah. So, so good choice, good yep. choice. All right, Brenda, you give us one. Well, I'm gonna go with our favorite activity ever to do on checkout day. When we're flying out late and that's I don't know what they call it now, but we've always called it our monorail mania meal. <laughs> well, I, I think now they call it. a. I don't know if they call it a monorail crawl. Is that when you drink? Because we eat. I don't I know. But anyway, monorail crawl to me and, and it sounds drinking, like right? drinking. Yeah. yeah. Well, we always called it our monorail mania meal. But anyway, this last I think trip, that's a great name. Yeah, that's what we did. We went to we started at the poly. We went to the Tambu Lounge and we had drinks um, and the girls had the, you know, of course, the non-alcoholic, but they give you that little, it has a little strawberry and it dissolves. And so mm -hmm. the drink changes is one color, color the and then it changes color and it's really, yeah. it's cool. And we just sit there and talk and talk about the trip. And then we got on the monorail again and went over to the Contemporary and had lunch at the Contempo Cafe. And then... <laughs> And then after that, we went over to the Grand Floridian for dessert and had those ridiculously humongous cake pops. Have you been there? No. Not if you go to the Gasparilla I had the Grill, cake pops. I've been to the Grand Floridian. If you go to the Gasparilla Grill and you go in there for dessert, I, I kid you not, these cake pops are the size of a cupcake. Wow. But they're shaped like a cake pop with this foot with long stick. stick in them. Wow. I don't know why, but we ordered one each, which was stupid. <laughs> and none of us could eat more than two bites of ours, so we wasted so much, which is horrible. Next time, we're not going to do that, but they are monstrous. They're they're delicious. So you're saying they're ginormous. Yes. That's, I use that word. And by the way, just anyone that, that wants, you know, wants to to – have a a term that sticks in your crawl. <laughs> Start calling it the monorail mania meal because that that's just awesome, Brenda. I don't, I I don't know what else to call that. it. That was I what we've been calling it since that. my kids were little. <laughs> I think there's something they call it now. Other people call it now, but I don't rem I don't know what it is. I know the crawl. I think the crawl is because you're crawling when you have alcoholic beverages. But I think so I don't too. know what the what the I think Something that like mine name, would be called, but anyway, that's I our think favorite that name activity. Is awesome, for, and I think you yeah. should write about that name. You need you oh, get I it have, out on the internet. You I know? have many times written about it, <laughs> uh, even on the magical blogger rail. I wrote about it. Okay, way back in the day. Way back in the day. <laughs> okay, well that's a good one. So I wrote everything down, everything down for you on, the, on our list. So, Tambu Lounge at the Poly Contemporary. 
um, with lunch at the Contempo Cafe and then a Grand Floridian Gasparilla Grill for ginormous cake pops. But you, but the, you don't have to do it that way. And no, we've you done don't. It a lot of different ways. We've had drinks at the Grand Floridian and then gone over to the sure. Contemporary for dinner at Chef Mickey's and then back over to the Poly for, of course, the bread pudding at Tambu Lounge. You can choose whatever pl- starting place you want and whatever ending place you want. So you can cater yeah. the meals around your desires. Yeah. So it's fun. It is. Try and there's it. no wrong way. It's Disney. Try there's it. no wrong answers at Disney. That's right. Because the loop only goes one way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good, All right. good stuff. Good choice. You know, um, we have never done this, by the way. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to show a card that we got. We, we got them with our last trip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it is, let me put my screen so I can make sure it shows up. Yep. These cards you get, okay? This card, people, is, and we each got one. So there were four people in our room. We have four of these cards. Yep. These cards are good for one round of mini golf yep. or one day at Epcot Wide World of Sports. And, and I don't know, we've been getting these cards. For decades, yep. right? And we've never done a round of mini golf. And I'm thinking, what better thing to do on your last day than to go over and do a round of mini golf and do it on Disney's dime? Yeah. You know? Especially when the yeah. weather's cooler. Yeah. Yeah. But if you go over there, you know, you have your breakfast. Maybe you go, maybe you go to the quick service for your breakfast and then you hop right over, even if it's in the middle of summer. You know, it might still be cool enough and not sticky enough that you can do around and have fun, and and you didn't and you didn't put out any money for it. You know, that's right. So yeah. So maybe a round of mini golf might be in your future one day. There you go. So. Yeah. Well, if you ask me, there is one thing that I do look forward to at the end of every Disney trip, and that is sleeping (laughs) because you'll notice that when we're in a rush to get to the parks in the day we tend to wake up early and scroggily get ourselves ready and then it's go 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 out the door out the door out the door even while you're still like wait a minute i need my coffee or (laughs) something like that but if you're if you're not leaving until later in the afternoon of your last day and you don't have a park reservation, right? Just sleep in. Sleep in. There it is so nothing wrong a with world of good. Nothing wrong with sleeping in, you know. That's right. Yeah. The one thing you do have to keep in mind though is checkout time is 11 a.m. on your day that you're leaving. You don't oh. want to get charged an extra hour or an extra day of, of, of room rate or something because you missed your checkout. Um, so right. keep it within, keep it within reason. Um, and, but Back up the night before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Have it all ready and done so that all you have to do is change your clothes, brush your teeth and walk out of the door with your stuff, you yep. know? Yeah. So then you still can sleep in, but just don't sleep in until like 1 30 PM or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that that but that is a good idea though, Sophie. Yep, you know. Good idea. Sometimes you need to recharge a little bit. So. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with um let's see. I'm going to go with some light shopping. Light mm. shopping at Disney Springs. Uh, actually, we didn't go shopping at Disney Springs this last day. The last day we went to the Animal Kingdom Lodge because the Animal Kingdom Lodge, the Wadi Market, has things you cannot find other places in the gift shops on property. So we literally went down to the Animal Kingdom Lodge from the boardwalk area to just shop at the gift shop and, you know, to see the resort because we love it. But 
a lot of times you can just go to Disney Springs and do some light shopping. Now, when the Magical Express was running, they usually already, we already turned in our luggage. But since the Magical Express isn't running and we take our own transportation to the airport, we can actually shop for smaller items and then pack them in our suitcase when we get it from Bell Services before we head to the airport. So that's a good thing you could do on mm-hmm. your last day too. And And don't forget that tip. Hidden in there was the tip that even after you check out, you can store your bags with Bell Services right. and, and they'll hold them for you. You don't have to be carrying your luggage all over to everywhere you're going here, people. And that's I'm sure everyone have. knows that. But if you didn't, you do now. <laughs> and that's a tip straight from Mike. You got it. <laughs> I mean, that's right. You know, it's a lot of fun to do. It's, you know, it's fun to do. Yeah. You know, it's funny because one of the things Sophie mentioned about sleeping in, one of the things she mentioned is how we wake up, we go to the parks, we're go, 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 go. This last trip (laughs) was probably the first time where we actually had a day where we had a non-park day. Yeah. I mean, we had always done park days every single day. And so... I'm thinking if you if you're not leaving till later, one of the things that might be worth doing on your last day is to spend some time at the pool. If you've been going at the going nonstop at the parks last day, maybe spend a few hours in the pool, you know, pack your your bathing suit and whatnot and what clothes you're going to wear in a smaller bag. Maybe check the other stuff at Bell Services and just have that little bag change when you're done and then you're ready to go but that way you get some refreshment in and you're and you're just going right downstairs to the pool you know yeah yeah and if you're at one of the deluxe resorts that has a fitness center you can take showers in their showers in their mm-hmm. locker room because mm. i can't like i can't leave the chlorine on my body because i'm or it's not even chlorine but it's brom- bromine or whatever but i can't leave it on my body because it grosses me out but you can take a shower in the mm-hmm. fitness center and change your clothes before you head to the airport yeah. yeah and at the yacht club when i was there i went into the bathroom obviously and i saw they have showers in the regular bathrooms as well the ones that are close to the pool so you don't even have to use the fitness center yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's so, a great thing to do. So great way last, to spend the day. Yep. A last day at the pool, you know, before you head out. Mm-hmm. So definitely some things to think about and some things that you can consider. So it's all about, you know, to me anyway, you've been you you, you put down some money, obviously, for your Disney vacation. And and everyone knows that, and it's and yes, there there are expenses and everything like that, but the key is let's maximize the return, okay? That's yeah. why these things before you're leaving are are worth it, you know? They're mm-hmm. worth thinking about because you want to get as much out of your trip as you possibly can, and so this is just one way to do it. So yep, yeah. Um. All right, so, Sophie, you're up. All right. Um, hmm. Well, shoot, I can't really think of anything else. Just thinking about how much I was walking and doing on our last Disney trip has made me sleepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Well, actually, you know, there's something that I have wanted to do at many of the resorts that I've stayed at recently, and that's that the resorts always seem to have an arcade with them. So it's not something that I've ever tried per se, but perhaps on your last day when you have nothing else to do besides, you know, sit at the pool or go shopping, then try the arcade maybe just take 20 bucks or something and go try it i've never yeah seen it and i'm pretty sure that the games are different from resort to resort so i would think they would be yeah and those arcades are big yeah yeah, some of them are huge some of them aren't as big but some of them are huge and i think that's a good idea because you know just save a little bit of your spending money you know for it you know and yeah you know, doing an arcade is not something that 
that we do at home very often. Yeah, you know? we don't either. It's not very often something we do. So this could be like a special thing that you remember specifically from your Disney trip. That's so. right. That's right. Hey, that's good. That's a good, that's choice, good Sophie. Sophie. That's a good yeah. suggestion. And I have I have one also, um, but it's Brenda's turn, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah go, well, for Brenda. Hmm. Let me go I, into I my list off. here. <laughs> okay, my list. The next up is meeting up with local friends on your last day. <laughs> and what we do, well, what we've done is my friend Tracy, who's also my pixie buddy, we cover for each other. Like if I'm out of town, she covers for me. If she's out of town, I cover for her. She lives there in close to Orlando. So we, Butch and I, love to meet up with Tracy and Keith and just like spend some time together. You can go to lunch together or not or you know, sit out by the pool at one of the tables and just talk. And it's just nice to be able to catch up and spend some time. And, you know, while you're killing time, waiting for your transportation to your flight. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? That's exactly the, what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Because Do you meet up with Tracy and Keith? <laughs> I, actually, I haven't in a long time. I haven't you meet up since, with Sheila, right? Um, well, sometimes Sheila, a lot of times Sheila. But also Amanda, my friend Amanda, who runs Disney's Cheapcake, Cheapskate Princess. So CheapskatePrincess.com. Nice. Um, she lives in Davenport and she'll come up and and I'll give her the room number and she'll be able to park at Pop or whatever and and give them the room number so she's able to park for a few hours. That's and we'll good. go like over, we'll skyline over to the Riviera and we'll and we'll have breakfast at the quick service there or whatever, but we're just chatting and just having fun. Yes. You no. Know? Yes. And it's just, it's just a great time. You get to see some friends that you haven't seen in a while. So, yeah. so yeah, that is, that's exactly what I was about to say. Great you minds. Great you minds. Know what, you know, what? we're copacetic. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yay. All right. Well, All right. Do you want me to give one more since Brenda stole mine, Sophie? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> go for no, it. Steal mine. <laughs> um, you know, I I saved this one because it's not back yet, but I'm optimistic. So oh. one <laughs> time, we, um, I, my my suggestion is when the dining plan comes back, any extra credits that you might have convert them for snacks okay um we had that situation happen several years back where we i don't know why but normally we were like judicious and we were going through and we were when we finished the trip we were done with our dining credits and that was that yeah. but for whatever reason this year it didn't it didn't happen that way and we had some some credits left over and cindy went down to like one of the markets or whatever where you can buy the snacks and they're like hey you've got these credits let's convert them for snack credits and then we loaded up on snack credits and they when we were driving that year and we still left later and and, and those snack credits we bought them and that became our snacks for the trip home you know awesome so don't leave any if you if you had dining credits don't if ever leave them, don't leave them on the table Make sure you cash them in. It's like leaving twenty dollars at the slot machines or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't do it. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> so, Good so one, definitely Mike. make sure that you're um, you get the most out of those dining credits. So, right. So that's yeah. that's one I have. Um, I don't know if there's any other that I can think of. Brenda, what else do you have on your list? Anything else? Well, did Sophie think of anything? Sophie, I don't want to pop over else? her. Um, no, not that I can think of. There's just this one memory because you guys were talking about snack credits. Um, we were staying at Pop Century. I was really, really young. And I think this isn't even my last day, but it was like in the middle of the night or something. We had just gotten back from a park. Maybe, I don't know, or maybe it was early in the morning. All I know is it was dark outside. And we were in the um, food court area getting breakfast. And I was like, I want that brownie right there. And my mom was like, 
you know you're at Disney because I'm letting you eat a brownie for breakfast. <laughs> yes. Definitely. All the rules was, go out the window at Disney. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It was funny. Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, good memory, though. But you're right. Yeah. So, you know, things yeah. that you wouldn't be able to do at home. That's right. Are not necessarily an issue. Frowned upon. <laughs> you know? so Not frowned yeah. upon at Disney. No. no. <laughs> not at all. Yay. So, so yeah. Great definitely. memory. Definitely something to keep in mind. So. Yeah. Well, I just have a few more. So if you want me to just rattle these off, if you think of something else, stop me. Okay. Go for it. Go for okay. it. So one is um, booking a character dining experience outside the park on your last day. So you could book any of them at the resort, at the resorts, um, like Chef Mickey's or, you know, Cape May or whatever. Mm -hmm. And enjoy your character dining as a way to kind of wrap up your trip and have one more special thing to do on your last day. Yeah. And so just for for clarification, we got Chef Mickey's, you got Cape May Cafe, you've got now Ohana. we've got we got Ohana for yep, Lilo Stitch. Yeah. And we've got um Tupelina Terrace. Yeah. And we used to have um Tangled, we used to have Rapunzel and Yeah, they're not there. They're not there right now, but I'm guessing at they some point maybe back. they might come back, you know? They might. So so there were several and there was also at one point you could do um Alice in Wonderland at nineteen hundred. Yeah, nineteen hundred. I wish they would open back up. So that was like one of our go to's. So Yeah, I hope so too. So another another thing that it might sound funny, but if you do have time to kill and, you know, sometimes those flights back, you choose a really late one like we did this last trip to save money. So yeah. occasionally there's a brand new Disney movie release while you're there and the AMC theater at Disney Springs will show it. And it's kind of fun to watch a new Disney movie at a Disney theater. So that's another thing you can do. Also, another thing, if your flight's really late, the Cirque, the Cirque du Soleil show at Disney Springs, they have a 5.30 and an 8 o'clock. And I know that's late, but like I said, we flew back at 10 this last time. So we could have gone to the 5.30 Drawn to Life show before heading back. So that's, that's another thing to think about doing before you leave if your flight's really late because they only have evening shows. Um, let's see what else. Oh, well, as opposed to so Sophie's opinion, and I'm sorry, Sophie, but if I enjoy going to the park on the last day, if if the flight's late and I can go to the park from say nine to five, and then rest a little bit before going to the airport, I'm going. Oh no, I completely agree with you. Okay. <laughs> I loved going to the park on the last day. Good. It just gets to be very stressful when it's like because our flights are never late going out, yeah. especially since we're always driving. So we don't drive, we don't leave like oh, sure. late in the night to drive back home. So it's always like, Sophie, we're gonna go to the parks, but we have to leave in the mid afternoon. And I'm like, what's the point of going then? Yeah, especially if you don't when have they're like, time. you have to pick one ride, one ride. That's yeah. it. And I'm like, You're like I gotta walk all that way for one ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love the haunted mansion, but I love, I love how convenient it is. Do yeah. not try and make me stand in a line for most of my day, knowing that I have to leave. Yeah. 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 But that's another good thing. It you depends do, on the, the length of time you have as to I agree. whether or not totally. it's worth it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I'm I only a, have um one but more yeah, thing. Yeah, a nine to five would be a. Yeah. That, that's, that's a, a good part. chunk of time. Yeah. 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 Uh, I only have one more thing, and that's because I'm a journaler. So, you know, if you're going to be leaving later and say you're not going to check out till 11, take, you know, when I'm journaling in the morning. I take some time to journal things I wanted to do that trip, but didn't actually get to do that trip so that for the next trip, I've already started my planning because, you know, Brenda plans. 
Yeah. What can you do? Dot com. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always planning. Right. You gotta you gotta add the dot com. Brenda plans. Dot com. <laughs> 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 Can you think of anything else that came into your mind while we were talking, though? Anything like, I don't know why I thought we could go to a local cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, but so you got to do that at, at the Magic Kingdom outside the Haunted yeah, Mansion. That's I know, that's what cemetery. put it in my mind when she said Haunted Mansion, I automatically went to cemetery. What yeah. can you do? What can you do? <sighs> We can't take her anywhere, can we, Sophie? I know. What? No, of course we can take her everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. Scratch that from the record. <laughs> you know, back in the day, back in some day, I don't know when it was, maybe in the 90s, you could often see people who weren't allowed to, but who were, rollerblading around the property. You know, wow. the kids were rollerblading mm-hmm. around. The, you're not supposed to do that. I don't think. I don't think they were supposed to do that. But they would. You know, a lot of people back then were rollerblading uh, everywhere. So even people had, like, they would. They were wearing tennis shoes, but they would have like wheels that came in out if they pressed a button, uh-huh. and they would skate around. You know that that was a fun activity, but you don't see that anymore. I'm trying to think of other you know, fun activities. But you know what, though. It, Based off of that, though, one of the things you can do is a lot of the resorts have their own fitness trails. And yes, and you can you can if you want to bring your rollerblades, yeah, <laughs> rollerblade the fitness trail, you know, and yeah. and get some exercise at the same time um, or just walk it, you know, like that's what I would do. But yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, so definitely you have those options as well It's the. So you're basically exploring the scenery, you know, like that yeah. time when we were we were going over to the Grand Floridian Cafe for dinner and Cindy and Sophie and I decided we were going to take the new walking path from the Magic Kingdom to the Grand Floridian. Yep. And that was fun. And it yeah. was, and, but it, it was a little bit longer than I thought it was. It was yeah. like half an hour to to walk that, which isn't yeah. bad, but it was longer than I thought it was. And but when the weather's it, cool, it's nice. Yeah, but it in is. the summer, it's kind of hard. But um, but it was it was neat though. It's a perspective you don't see very often. Yeah. You know? So so anyway, well, if you if you have a lot of money, you can also rent boats there at Disney. You mm-hmm. could rent a boat for several hours. Yeah, that's true. Do some fishing or something. Do some fishing in the early morning is catch and release. But who if you're it's on your done. about to go home that day, you don't want to really have to deal with cleaning fish anyway <laughs> uh-uh, not at all <laughs> so yep. so yeah now so. i want to go back so i can think of other ideas <laughs> so i'm going to put that one on there too <laughs> fishing trip fishing charter yeah yeah or just riding a boat and doing some joy riding or they have the little uh do they still do the jet skis and stuff i know that sammy's closed but i think they still do those kinds of rentals uh the paddle boat things i don't know i don't know but um oh those little yeah. cars have you done the little cars at boathouse at the disney springs the ones you drive mm-hmm. they're hover i haven't done them yet that's on my I list i haven't oh the car boats the yes car boats. those Sophie look and fun Jake we're gonna do that once, and then the weather but God. the weather was bad and it but was that cold. would be fun to do also on your last day yeah. that's interesting great yeah. pictures yeah yeah all right well all right I'm dreaming well, I think we've got a lot of stuff down here for everyone. So yeah. So I think that's a great list. And you know what? If anyone has anything they want to add to it, then leave please. a comment. Post a comment yes. or or post it in the in the group and and we'll add it to the list, you know? Yay, hook us up. So and thank you so much. Thank you, and as always, thank you for your feedback. But that, my friends, is wrapping us up for this um, feature topic for this week. And now it is time for this day in Disney history. So, Sophie, what do you have? All right. Well, in this day in Disney history, August 22nd, 1905, the animator 
Robert W. Youngquist was born in Rockford, Illinois. He spent his entire career at Disney from 1935 to 1970 and worked on such features as Fantasia, Bambi, Fun and Fancy Free, Sleeping Beauty, The Sword in the Stone, and such shorts as Bone Trouble, Canine Casanova, Pluto's Kid Brother, and Figaro and Frankie. Wow. Nice. Happy birthday. Happy wow. birthday. What yeah. a great awesome. career, though. Could you imagine? Yeah. I can't, you know. But that would be so awesome. <laughs> awesome. To be able to do something with your life that's still touching lives all this time later and for uh -huh. years and years to come. I just oh, yeah. love it. And not Such only that, your, gift. your children, your grandchildren, your yes. great grandchildren watching Fantasia or watching and seeing your your relative's name on the yeah. credits. Nice. That that's like legacy. You yeah. Know? So Great. Good, good history. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Thank, thank you. I have a very easy stump the soap. I am okay. calling it. I'm calling it <laughs> that Sophie will name this character in two clues. Oh. Or less. Maybe she'll name it. Almost in like one name clue. that too. Mm -hmm. Almost like name that too. <laughs> Name yeah. that clue. <laughs> All right. She name that tune too. She probably could. Yep. She will know many of the tunes from this. But anyway, <laughs> this character is a delightful and scrappy trickster. Delightful and scrappy trickster. Mm hmm. Can I get one more? This character is on the verge of being completely forgotten. Ooh. Bing bong. No. No? That was good, though, Sophie. That's what that I thought. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's harder than I thought it was. Forgotten? Like in Coco? Hector? Mm hmm. Brenda, yeah. Brenda gave the third clue. I was gonna say it's Hector. Yes. And yeah. Thank yay. you, Amber. Very good, and, Sophie. And he's trying to keep his memory alive, and that was so. That was my third clue. So. I think I missed something on that movie because everybody loves that movie, like totally loves that movie, and I am so saddened by that movie. I can't even watch it. Movie. I just cannot. It it's is like a the sad last movie. person also... that for like the last person that knows who you are. Once they die, you die forever. It's like I, I can't even. I just can't watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, and I and I understand that, and I think that's the that's the point though. I know is to live that life where. You're not forgotten, you know? Yeah. So, and I'm, and to me, the sadness of almost being forgotten is totally transformed when they realize he's not forgotten and he, and he is, and he's, he's remembered. That yeah. to me just, just makes it. And so I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. I, and most people are just like you, and I and I totally get that. I just don't know why I can't get past it. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful. I mean, it like it's beautiful. It's so beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And the music, oh, good songs. God, yeah, Sophie, great job, them. Sophie. Say that I'm crazy or call me a fool. But last night it seemed that I dreamed about you. When I opened my mouth, what came out was a song. And you knew every word and we all sang along. To a melody played on the strings of our souls And a rhythm 
rhythm that rattles us down to the bone. Our love for each other will live on forever. In every bit of my proud corazón. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Sophie. I love it when Sophie sings. <laughs> Me too. What a gift. <laughs> Yes. Let's go to a little bit of Walt, please. (laughs) I don't know. I think I should have done a little bit of Walt, and then we should have gone out with Sophie singing. What do you think, Mike? I'll do a refrain in a minute. Go to Walt. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Well, I feel there is no door which, with the kind of talent we have in our organization, could not be opened. And we hope we can continue to unlock these barriers as long as we are in the business of bringing a happy note to those who patronize our pictures. Walt Did you Disney. make me sing just for that? Mm-mm. That feels like it hit sing. too close on the nail. I didn't it, make you sing, it just It happened. goes right with it. it, just, it's a Disney thing. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'm mi familia, oiga mi gente, cantina todo, let it be known. Our love for each other will live on forever in every bit of my proud corazón. Yay! Nice. Thank you, I, Beautiful, beautiful. I think, I think I've got all I'm going to get, all the singing from Sophie for like six months, right? <laughs> At least that you'll hear on the videos. Beautiful, Sophie. (laughs) Yes. All right. Next week, my friends, and thank you, Brenda, for that little bit of Walt, because I love our little bit of Walt segment. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, me too. Thank you. And next week, I've got a game, okay? Oh, fun. And this is, I'm not going to put anything in the notes about what the the selections are this is going to be it's similar to better at disneyland better at walt disney world but it's not just disney related oh. and these aren't just like attractions necessarily it's like it, it, i'm calling it would you rather disney style okay so you're not going to let us prepare for it it's you're going to call be, us out I'm live gonna, and on the air I'm gonna I'm gonna give t- uh, like two options. You tell me which one you would rather do. All right. And I'm gonna have like a list of them. That so. sounds like fun, doesn't it, Sophie? That sounds great. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right then. I, it won't be anything that you're gonna be like. People aren't gonna be like. I can't believe she said that. <laughs> oh well, I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> do I care what people say about me on this channel? No. <laughs> Anyway, folks, thank you so much for being with us this week. We hope you have a great week. She's Sophie. That's Brenda. He's Grogu. And I'm Mike. And we will see you on on the road. road. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone.